G'day and welcome to Pepsing. So, perhaps you're making your first server ever, but you don't know how to add a bot to your Discord server, what permissions to give them, can members of your server control the bot, or if you can even trust a Discord bot, and can a bot just completely destroy or hack your server? Well, I am here to answer those questions. As always, timestamps in the description and progress bar below. Also guys, 0% of my viewers are subscribers. Yep, 100% uh, true. So, consider being the first ever subscriber to watch my future videos. All you gotta do is click the subscribe button right there, and if you see my next video recommended to you, just click it, and you'll be the first ever subscriber to watch my video. 100% true, and I will know if you did that. Check the button right there, make sure you subscribe, and tick the bell to make sure you're the first ever subscriber to watch my future videos. Now, if you want to know how or if you could trust a Discord bot, I'll be talking about that at the timestamp right here, so you can either wait for that or just skip ahead to that part. So, there are two main ways of getting a bot into your Discord server. Of course, there are many other ways but these two are the easiest and most common so let's just start with the one you'll use most often and that is top.gg top.gg is probably the most popular way anyone gets a bot into their discord server now as we look around you can see you can either search for the exact bot you're looking for on the search bar right here or you can just scroll through the range of bots that are on top.gg's homepage now let's imagine you want to add dank Mima to your server as you can see here on the dank member tab it currently has surprisingly like a million upvotes and is also a part of almost four and a half million discord servers now i'm not sure if that's current servers it is in right now or the amount of times it has been added to servers which i feel like is probably just the amount of times it's been added to servers but either way a huge number for a discord bot lastly you can also read the bot's description yada 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 anyway we will go to view and now you can see the full page details for the bot. You've got the description, website, support server, Twitter, Reddit, and most of the time when you scroll down these bots, you will also see the available commands for the bot when you want to figure out how to do that. Because some of the bots don't have a website, and this is a good place to see and review how to use the commands for the bot. And finally, you've also got the reviews down below here uh, if you want to see what people are saying about the bot. which we'll click right here. Now, for every bot we add to a server, you'll see a page just like this. You can choose whichever server you want to add the bot to, and then press continue. And now we're brought to the permissions page for the bot. If you don't care about permissions and safety, then you can just skip ahead, but for everyone else, can we trust the bot? Short answer is mainly yes. First, I need to say that I'm not a bot developer or anything of the sort, so I can't say I know for certain anything, but the main point to understand is that when you add a bot to your server, it can only access the permissions you give it. So if you don't give the bot, let's say the ban permission, then even if hypothetically the bot did get hacked, it won't be able to ban members or use any permissions it does not have on the server. The second part is, can you trust the bot won't get hacked? Well, my first tip is to stick with the larger bots of Discord, as these have a much better reputation, development team, and are just trusted by larger servers. I so far, when searching on the internet, could not find any articles about any large bots being hacked on Discord, Another thing to know is that all bots that are in over 100 servers have gone through a verification process with Discord and they cannot join more than 100 servers until they are verified with Discord. And lastly, when it comes to the chances of a bot becoming hacked or breached with its data and security, I'm not 100% sure. Smaller bots may have less secure privacy and safety, but again, when it comes to giving bots moderator or admin permissions such as ban, then it's probably best to stick with the large bots, which are basically businesses at this point. I mean, check out Dinobots Patreon supporters. It's a uh, fair bit of money. So anyway, back to inviting the bot. All you gotta do once you've chosen the permissions is go to authorize, give the old I am human. And now when you check your Discord server, you will see 
that the bot has been added to your server. So now the bot is part of the server, we can give it its very own roles, just like giving roles to a normal member of your server. Personally, I like to give my bots the bot role. You can name this whatever you want, but it is a handy role to have to keep all your bots in one list so you can see what bots are online, what bots you have as part of your server, and it can also be used to automatically give some permissions to your bot every time you give it the bot role. So I'll just give Dank Meme the bot role and now I can see the rest of my server. And now the question is, can other random members of the server, just general members, command the bot? Well, the answer to that is the members can use the services provided by the bot that are designed for the public, but majority of the time they can't use the administrative commands that the bot provides. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure why this is, but it's probably got something to do with the coding of the bot. But as a precaution, I would always see what the commands are for the bot that you're adding, and if you can set the commands to mods only or admins only, and check to see what commands just the members of the server can use, such as Carbot, where you can designate what mods and people can use which sort of command. So yeah, just always put your bot above other roles. So just to prove this, I've put Dinobot at the very bottom of the roles here, below all the verified and normal roles that any member would get in the server. So it is at the very bottom rank of the server, and I've given it all the permissions such as ban, kick, manage roles, all of that, and we'll test to see if a normal member can use the bot. A few other things to quickly mention is that the commentator role, which will be the verified role that we're testing with, won't have any ban or kick permissions or mute or anything like that. And for me, the owner, I will have all my permissions turned on as well, just like the bot that is all the way down here. So we have the bot at the bottom, the normal member slash verified role that we'll be testing with, and of course me at the very top. I'll also make it a very similar layout with the rules on the general lounge, which will be the text channel that we're testing on. So I'm in the owner role, and I'll be using the mute moderation command as a test, and I'll be doing this onto new account, which is just in the commentator role, a simple verified channel member and we'll see what happens. So here we go. So, so far it turns out Dino can actually mute a role that is above it with the command from me, the owner. And now we'll test the command on a lower level, which is still above Dinobot in the terms of role ranking. This time I made Newbie just one level higher than new account, just to make sure that if it works, I can still do it because you still need to be above another role to be able to do these sorts of commands. So we'll test if this works and it did not. One last test is I just gave Newbie the managed permissions permission and we'll see if this makes a difference. And it did not. All right, that just goes to show that some bots restrict users from using moderation commands on a bot, even if they're above the bot in a ranking. It could be different with other bots, so always just make sure that the commands and permissions and things like that are set just for the moderation admin and yourself when it comes to moderation commands with a bot. As far as I've seen, most of the larger bots don't allow any member or even moderator to do any sort of moderation command until they have been allowed on the website to tell the bot what roles can and cannot use the moderation commands. So now the bot is officially in your server, you are free to use the commands and do whatever you want to do with the bot. You can also change the prefix when typing in the commands and you can find the instructions to do this on either top.gg or you can actually follow the instructions found on the bot's website. Which brings me to the second method of adding a bot to your Discord server and that is through the bot's official website. There's a few ways to find the bot's website. The first method is to simply type out the name of the bot in Google and find its website. But if you think that may not be correct or might lead you to a different website, a lot of the times you can just type out the help command in a Discord server where the bot is and it will usually give you a link to its website. So if you're just on someone's Discord server, you can just type in a help command for the bot you're looking for and it will usually just lead you to the website. So from there, you can just press add bot and follow the exact same steps as I've shown you before. And that is how you add a bot to your Discord server. Hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, guys, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Please click the bell button and come check out my Discord server. Link is in the description below and I'll probably comment it in the comments. Come check it out, say hi. Click on one of the recommended videos right here on the screen right now. I'm sure you'll enjoy either one of these videos. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.